So you can see that I have uh, several projects here if I log into my Azure Notebook account. And the one, so here's a clone of a project that I've made. So the, um, the file that, or the uh, notebook that I'm going to run is this one here called filetest.ipynb. And uh, it's very simple script. Uh, and this is going to open a file in a folder that I've created called data. So right now I don't have any folder called data. So what I need to do first is to go and add a folder in this project called data. So I'll go over, let's make this a little bigger, go over to the new menu and say new folder. And the name I'm gonna give it is data. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and open that data folder and uh, go ahead and do a, an upload of a file. So the file that I want uh, is, oops, sorry, I need to do this one. Upload a file from my computer. I'm gonna choose a file that I have stashed away here. I selected the file and I'm gonna trust the contents of the file and go ahead and do the upload. So that's done. Now I see the folder that I want is now uh, in the data folder. That's great. So now I can go back. If I need to, I can go ahead and start up the notebook, but I already have it running here. So let's see what this notebook does. The first line is just an import statement. We're, we're using pandas, so that's not really the topic of this lesson. We'll just skip over that. Um, but we learned in an earlier lesson that the operating system or OS module has a function in it called getCWD. And that function does not uh, require any arguments. It just simply um, has a, a um, return value, which is a string that contains the path to the current working directory. Now, the current working directory is going to be whatever the directory is that I started the script from. And since I started the script from this, uh, this clone folder, the data folder is going to be a subfolder of that folder that I started the notebook from. So once I have stored the string contained containing the name of the, uh, the path to the working directory. I'm gonna go ahead and print that so I can see what it is. So let's run that cell and we see here's the path. I don't really care what the structure that is because what we're gonna do is basically just say that add on to that path, the subfolder that I created called data. And then within that subfolder, here is the file that I want to open up. So it doesn't really matter what this is as long as the working directory where I open the notebook from has a subdirectory called data with this file in it. So if I go ahead and run that cell, it did not complain about anything, that's good. Now I'll just give this command and ask the uh, Python to show me the first five uh, rows that are in that file, and it did. So I successfully opened up that file.